okay? I don't need anyone walking me home. Hey, we were talking about me not tonight anyway. I guess. And you can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. Not the point, Tom. He treats me like a kid sometimes. Hey, I get it. He's protective. He's seen things. We've all seen things. You know, we gotta talk about you stealing food. Hey, I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. Well, he won't thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally gonna be the day he fixes his own breakfast. Could you knock on the door? Only got so many hands here. Sarah! That for me? Yeah, though it's not as much as last time. It's enough. Nona thinks you're an angel. The Dawn hates seeing food go to waste. And this, this has got to be Tammy. Sarah told us all about you. That right. You're a famous race driver, Tom. Everyone talks about you. Yeah, she's right. They do. Are we well, done? Anyways, don't let the cold in, Juliet. I'll see you at church. All right. Have a great evening. Night. Buena noche, Tammy. It's nice you do that. That? Well, a lot of hungry people on this block. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's a good night for a walk anyway. Don't get yourself killed on my account, Tom. I try to avoid it. That's all you got? You spend all this time with a lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you got is, good night for a walk anyways? <laughs> well, it is, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. What's those red? The mini map. Flowers for the lady, signore? Nah, we're good. Now I don't get flowers? When you let me take you on a real date and not some walk home for Luigi, then you get the flowers. Yeah, that could happen. If Pop's not gonna stop me seeing one of you. I think he knows anyway. Luigi? Nah. These guys have been creeps to me for weeks. But I didn't tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to Dad this one time and all of a sudden he gets you to be my knight in shining armor. So yeah, he knows. Huh. Well, like I say, means there's no problem with me. If he did, you wouldn't last long. I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Yeah, so now we are. I've been trying to keep you safe, Tommy Angelo, all this time. Hey, let's go someplace. Tomorrow night, maybe. The pictures, maybe. You can get your flowers. That'd be good. Oh, hey there, darling. Are you stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't cast the kitten doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger, but he's all washed up now. Hmm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well, <laughs> then let's see what you got, cake eater. Mm. Where are you going, there, Sweet <laughs> Oh, shit. Back off! <gasps> Billy's right. You're some kind of dick, hey. ain't ya? Get away from me! The twist like <clears throat> he's wasted on that greaser. Did him, Billy! <clears throat> <clears throat> <all the> way, <clears throat> huh? You even touched <clears throat> me and you're dead! Hey. I'm not the kind of dame you mess with, pal. Come on, let's see some blood. 
Come on, there's enough of us to finish him. Who was he thinking? Open him up. Let's do some blood. Get away! Oh, nah, nah, I won't. Tommy! Man, big guy. Shit. My turn now. Hope you're better than your friend. <laughs> Bring it, bitch. I should take the baseball bat. No? Really? That's what I got, you son of a bitch. I'll give you that. You're bleeding. Come up to my place. I'll take a look. Maybe some hot coffee? <laughs> well, you gonna come in and take a load off or what? I'm wondering when you'd invite me up. Bank's closed, slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Doesn't look too bad. You need something for the pain? No, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You wanna pretend it don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Don. Take another. All right. You're going to grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. I don't need the little old lady next door complaining to the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? Oh, it's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. That right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. And Ma would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Right through the hand. What for? Cause she was an ugly, jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but it'll hold. The scar will be something to remember you by, if nothing else. <laughs> You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie-eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Yeah, okay. You got an extra blanket or something? No. And the heat's out. Yes, up though. Come on, Tom. You gotta do better than that. <laughs> this can't stand. I, 
Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. But who's gonna pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. Put them in wheelchairs. Bust their faces up so bad, even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. We know where they're holed up. My friend on the force says we should start looking in the Chinatown. Then Big Biff will know something. Tommy, go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Some of these sons of bitches could still be on our turf. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good hunting. Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Sure. Let's go bust some heads. These punks showing disrespect. Where's the respect in this city? Uh, looks like we're going to meet the boys again who uh bothered us when uh sent Sarah to her home. Hey, hey, here for some heaters, Tom. Nah, I'm already going and healed. Paul and me, we gotta give a beating to some punks who've been on our turf. I don't want to pull this and piss in our own street and something the bus sets. That's all we need. Sam turned over some guy's warehouse and, uh... Autographed by Babe Ruth himself, the guy said. I mean, it's horse shit, but they bust heads. Your punks won't have time for questions. Not at all. Thanks, Vinny. All right. Now we got a baseball bat. Meet Polly in Chinatown. Uh... Looks like we're going to need a car. Let's choose one. Uh, we've used this one. Have you used this one? Wait, what? Chicago and oh, same car, just a different version. Okay. Let's try this one. We haven't tried it. Toner, Polly Chinatown, right? I don't think this is gonna turn wild. Oh shit, it's a cop. Let's take it easy, nice and slow. Oh yeah. We're fine. No, 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 no. All right. Whew. Now we're good to go. Let's check out the map. The map. Oh, it's not that far. But little Chinatown. <laughs> you know what? This re reminds me. Reminds me a lot of uh, GTA 3. There's a uh, little Chinatown. All right, we're here. There's our boy, Polly. About time. Come on, I'm wet through. Why Biff moved into this dump, I'll never know. Give him a break. He's in love. Ah, he got yellow fever that time we boosted the Shanghai skin flicks. Well, I like her anyways. Problem with you, Tom, you always soft with the dames. What's he chopping? Rips. 
Beep, you fat bastard. Using instrument. What are you doing? Get out of the way. You're going to pay for all your money. Put all your money in the back. Dogface, great to see you. Call her off, Biff. We got business. Upstairs, please. No use of the fire. So, what's the beef? We need some information. Got some jokers causing trouble. They mess with Luigi's daughter. Plenty of hoods around. You got any more? One of them's a weasel named Billy. Pals with a prissy chump and a bruiser with a bald head. Right, right, I know them. They're set up in the old service station a block over. They hock some gear every now and then, in small time. <laughs> That's why I need to come to you, Biff. You're good with small time. Out the back, cross the street. You'll find them there. Thanks. See you around. Hey, Paulie. Uh, about that dough? Relax. Just waiting for my guy to come through. It'll be next week. Just sit tight. All right. What was that back there? You and Biff got something going on. Guy I know is bringing in a shipment of suits. Classy ones. Mexican. You getting suits from Mexico? No, idiot. The suits are boosted from a lockup downtown. The tailor is from Mexico. Originally, anyways, he lives in Holbrook. Did Don know about this? Yeah, yeah, I'll get his cut. You just keep this under your hat. I guess I heard enough. You gonna know these punks when you see them? Yeah. No, I guess if I don't, all we gotta do is find the other guys in Chinatown who look like we do. What's this? Bandon? Here's how we do this. I walk in and start beating people. You do the same. No shooters. Bandon station. Stay long thinking that one up. Nah, this plane gets used a lot. I think we gotta go in through the side. Oops. Oh, there they are. It's those guys again. Around the corner. Tell me the nicest ass I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo. Oh, Billy, it's the guy from the other night. We gotta go. <laughs> That's right, bitch. Stay the fuck down. Oh, you want some too? Break him! No, no, you did it. It's a hurry. I don't know how the other guy just waited for me. Bolt action rifle. I'll take it. Yes, please. Oh, shit. Shotgun? Sure, I'll take it. Let's keep the shot.
Take it to a car, tell him! Scram! Look at his car. How do I catch them? It's a very slow car. That's for sure. No, 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 no. Alright, all good. Trying. They think you're gonna get away, huh? They ain't seen you drive like I have. They're sleeping at the wheel. I should have hit something. Maybe. Or should I shoot? Oh yeah. Good thing I saved my bullet. Well, they're not walking away from that. I want to pop and time. No. No, no, wait. Please. Please, I don't want to fucking die, man. Christ, Tom. You can't feel sorry for these animals. A guy like this would fuck you if you give him the chance. You gotta pull the trigger without thinking. Yes, I'm out. This one's finished, too. <sighs> oh Christ, Tom. Snap out of it. You remember what those guys wanted to do to Sarah? <laughs> yeah. Just uh hey. smoking in the rain, huh? Get out of here before the bulls show up, huh? Chapter complete. Better get used to it. The Saint and the Sinner, 1932. Simple straight. I can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Paulie. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the coroner's office sent this over. Corpse's name is Giolotti. You recognize him? Sure. That's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now he got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician into Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. That gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but he was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Paulie. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He made it? Yes. What? 
He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. <sighs> Can he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Look, we're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam, you're gonna attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. He's sending Tommy to dip his wick? It's a brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. The Don has invested a lot of money in it over the years. So, me and Sam. Regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. What? Morello wants to take businesses away from us? He'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can't send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They'd never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If any of the horse see it, well, it'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah, but be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get made. Tommy, one more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her, too. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom. But we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? Yeah. Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. I think Sam knows her. All right, let's go. He must be, right? From the look of his face go see Vinny I'll meet you here like the bomb from Vincenzo heard you in the market for something that goes boom give those girls a squeeze from Uncle Vin huh not today Vinny Don't go any place yet. You gotta hear me out on this. It's about the girl. Michelle? Right. You don't have to rub her out. Just make her disappear. You know her? Yeah. I've been with her a few times. She's a good egg, Tom. Just maybe not so bright. She doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes listening to me talk. You think she'll leave town? When she understands what'll happen otherwise, yeah, she'll leave. Here's a hundred. Give it to her. And make sure she gets far away. Okay, sir. I'll see what I can do. That's all I'm asking. Let's go. Drive to St. Michael's Church. Michelle. She's the one from the racetrack, right? Tom, that was the last time we were ever going to talk about her. Ever. I told you what I had to ask, and you listened. Gotta leave it there. Okay. Suspicious. The manager thinks he's untouchable. He'll probably walk right up to him. Anything else I should know? Nah. Just don't take all day. Bloody died young, so there can't be much to say about it. The bomb goes off. I'll do my thing. Got it. What kind of world is it? Oh Are shit, there was a cop back there. You get sent to a cat house. Well, I have to clean up your mess at a funeral. You see the justice in that? I see a job I gotta do. Such a professional. Just try to finish the job this time, huh? For 
first time I've been to a church in a while. Well, I guess they're still singing the same songs. Last time I went, it was. Same songs I always heard as a kid. Yeah, you're not the religious type. It's the funerals, Tom. That's all it ever is. All that anyone ever wants to do is point guns at the family and shoot. Game point, there were so many funerals. I just stopped going to most of them. They're all boring as hell. That's a shame, seeing as you're always dressed for the occasion. Great guy, Tom. Write that one down. <laughs> Thanks. I'll do that. Now, oh, man, are you kidding me? Another cop? I'd go to one of them. You working on that? Uh, guess so. Good. Because I've given up waiting on Paul. I couldn't get a broad to stick to him if they went swimming through glue. Ah, he'll find someone. Tom, if his own mother has given up hope, then you can give up hope too. Here's your step. Uh, we're here. I'll give the family your condolences. Good luck. You too. Are you shitting me? What's your problem, man? Drive to the Corrion Hotel. Right now. Get to get to. We have to kill Michelle and the manager. I think. Not sure how this is gonna end up. Hotel now. You behave yourself in here, okay? What's your problem, man? Shut up. Hey, Hanslow. You here for a girl, drinks, or a mix of the two? A girl. And I got some business with your manager, too. A girl? I can help you with. Come through. Find a girl you like, and you can both get better acquainted upstairs. There's no rush, so get a drink, relax, and enjoy and good yourself. Good afternoon, sir. I need to speak to Michelle. The only girls available are the girls you can see. Find one you like, and don't make a fuss. Really? Smoking in here? Ooh, just how I like them. We can just talk if you don't want anything else. Come on, honey. Without you, we how am I gonna pay the rent? I can tell you're you nervous, want. but I can step you through what we gotta do. Hey, I'm looking for Michelle. Know her? Yeah, she's the popular one. Book yourself in with a guy at reception. You gotta get in line for Michelle. All right. Is it this guy? No, 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 no. It's the I need bar. To talk to the manager. Yeah, head straight through to the lounge. You're with our uh, new business partners, I assume. Okay. Energy at the back. See this guy? You get a room when you get a guy, not before. Ah, <sighs> fine. You know the rules, Dottie. Is Michelle in today? Let me check. Come on! What's it taking so long? She's in, but she's busy. If you're waiting for Michelle to come down, she ain't gonna. She's got fellas in with her all day long. Huh. I guess I have to sneak in and get the book? I think so. Maybe through here? It's unlocked. How convenient. Michelle, room 208. Nice. We got information. All day. Anything back here? He wants you here. I think so. Is he dying? No, I don't think. Then it don't matter. 
You need to come in. Leave him with the lady next door if you need to. I can't do that. You're his best girl. And he says he wants you here to entertain the new guys he's getting protection from. It don't matter how sick your kid is. You gotta come in and work. Listen. You want to go back to the rest of the girls on the corner of Six and Maple? Then be my right, right now. You told me what it was like. Right, know a girl named Michelle. Hey, the only girls I know are the ones behind you, sir. And the only ones available. The friendship between the Corleone right, Hotel the and the Morello family will be long and fruitful. And how do I kill him exactly? Let's use a gun and shoot him or what? Who's these new guys getting to run this? And I managed to have to play nice with his Ammo? good friends. How come? It's when your new friends turn up with Tommy guns. That's what you do. Serious trouble? <laughs> what does he know about serious trouble, huh? Nothing to him. I haven't been to one here for weeks. Uh, okay. <clears throat> oh, sure, I'll take it. See plenty of mooks like him come and go. Prick. Volvo, eh. How do I kill the manager? Maybe a distraction? It's above me, right? Yep. What's this? Fuck it. Let's just do it. Hold on one second. How are you still alive? I mean, heal up. All right, I think we're good. Some ammo, please. Right, let's go get Michelle. Shot to the head. Okay. <laughs> Wait a second, what's this? Michelle, room 208, okay? Is it back here? Oh, 
What was that? On the mini map. Let me check it out. Nice. Comics. Room 208. Alright. You, Michelle? What's it to you? A fella named Sam is one of your regulars. Maybe there's a lot of guys named Sam. You know him. Works for Don Celieri. Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me. I, I don't say nothing. He knows that. But Don's losing a lot of money because someone <laughs> can't keep their mouth shut. I was just bumping guns with some of Morello's girls. I didn't mean nothing by it. Tell him I'm sorry. Tell him that I will never open my mouth again. Shh. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're scared then. Good. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're going to find you with two in a head. Do you understand? Lucky for you, Sam's got a big heart. Get dressed and make tracks. This place is gonna blow soon. Thank you. Just don't come back and we're square. Right, now we're done with Michelle. Let's get to the manager's office now. No place to run! Over here! Get him! Oh yeah. One shot, baby. I like how everybody's <laughs> going out from their room as soon as I reach uh, upstairs. back here Some ammo nice A Tommy gun? Shit, no, no, no. Dying. <laughs> you realize. Uh Yes. Tommy gun. This should be helpful. Uh, anything back here? Nope, it's empty. Dear Mr. Morello, uh, you can pause the video if you would like to read. this money
make the jump. Climb like that. It's a ladder for a reason. I want everyone we've got on this guy. Get up there and bring him down. Bring him down. He's up here with us. Oh. On the roof with us. Now you get by. Let's try the rifle. It's, it's not that good. This is a Tommy. It was quick. Up here? No, no, no. Oh shit! No, 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 no. You're gonna get red some rights. What the hell are you doing? Search, right? She is beautiful. Oh.
how far we've fallen, we can find redemption in death. Now, William, he was a sinner, yes, but he was also a loving son, a protective brother, and a loyal friend. And for those virtues, we pray that his soul will find salvation. And now I believe one of Billy's closest and dearest friends would like to say a few words. Thank you, Father. I, uh... I just wanted to pay my respects. Billy, I never said this, but... I consider you my brother. I can't even count all the times you saved my ass from a bee. So I don't know how I'm good. What are you doing? Wait, that's the guy. That's the guy who killed Billy! What? Please! There's Sam, though. What was Billy involved in? Come on. Fucking useless, man. Could have been here. Down there! Shoot him before he comes Open upstairs. the cover! Oh. Oh. You could have stopped all this days ago! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. I picked up the uh, Tommy gun. Oh, I got the ammo. Nice. Billy was bad, I get that, but this? You're a monster. Where's your honor? You think I'm enjoying this? have you done? Murder in the house of God. These men were criminals, father. Thieves. Rapists. Killers. And God would have embraced them if they'd asked for forgiveness. Now, which one of these men might have sought redemption by working with the poor? Which one might have saved just one life? None of us, father. You bastard. If you have any confessions to make, you better do it quick. No more bloodshed, please! I'm sorry, Father. <sighs> Consider this an act of divine retribution. Really? Now you're gonna show up? Now? That make us even? Sure. For now. For your trouble, Father. I don't want your blood money. You took theirs. Not a lot of difference from where I'm standing. That should be enough dough to patch up the bullet holes and keep you quiet. <laughs> when the cops come, you tell them the gunman who did this had East Coast accents. Must have been from out of town, right? I won't lie. But I won't say anything at all. Good. Be a shame if we had to come back here. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked in the church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on, we gotta go. Shit. There's a lot of cops out there. Don't run first aid. Get in a hearse. Let's go. Who's there? You can. It's got wheels, don't it? We can run find another shirt. What the hell? Who shot me? Get 
inside the car. My time was up. It's not anything you wouldn't do for me. I know. But when you come that close to biting it, Christ, it's something. Don't need to tell me about that. Just don't think about it. Best lesson I could ever teach you. Don't think about anything. Chapter complete. Saint and the Sinner. Intermezzo, 1938. <laughs> 
Jesus Christ, Tommy. You're confessing to a shootout in a church. And I ain't even through the hard stuff yet. You know I could take you in right now, put your bowling bars, tell you old and gray. Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Murillo. Hey, fellas. Sorry to keep you waiting. My shift just started. What you having? Two lunch specials, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. All right, we've come this far together. What kind of heat did you get from the church? It's a strange thing. Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. And Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get reelected, hoping he'd go after the Don. Well, I recovered some account books from Morello's offices. 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. You need didn't catch on? Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. But even with the cops looking over our shoulders and Morello circling, we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do, except drink, have a few laughs. And every time I went into Salieri's, that was Sarah. So it was a good year. Until Frank. A Coletti, a Don's consigliere. Yeah, that's right. He set me straight. He set us all straight. There's a lot of buzz around town about you guys. Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Tom. I care how it looks when you walk into a club and buy everyone around. Uh, we got to do something with though. Then blow it at the track on Sunday. Or take a dame to a show. Or invest it, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes, so you don't get strangled by them. You ever have a dog, Tom? Sure. A little mutt when I was a kid. When I was eight or nine, before I came over from the Sicily, I had this beautiful skinny Cherneco de Letna. Like a little greyhound. Fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. We started setting up races together. Betting on her with coins and rifle shells. There wasn't another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No. Pregnant. She went into heat, got out of the yard, and every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a bitch in heat. And everyone in that club is now looking to fuck you. And once you get fucked, you're no good to us. Do you understand? Uh, you made your point. Good. Because you need to think about your career here. Look, Paulie's at his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy, you could run this town someday. Well, I appreciate that, Frank. So, uh, what happened to the dog? The Don tried to drown her. I broke his nose. You can let me off here. Give Sarah my best, Tommy. 